The Universal Audio EMT250 powered plug-in is a faithful emulation of the iconic EMT250 hardware reverb, the world's first digital reverb unit. With its single reverb program and iconic lever-driven controls, the EMT250 is still an indispensable tool with the record-making elite and is widely considered one of the best-sounding reverbs ever made. In the digital reverb land, there's a couple of boxes that I can't live without and the 250 is one of them. It's been a part of my uh, sort of palette in mixing for, well, since it came out. It makes certain unique sounds that no other device does. Unveiled by EMT at the AES convention in 1976 and inducted into the Technology Hall of Fame in 2007, the EMT 250 was the first digital reverberation and multi-effects device to create ambience through a purely electronic system. At the time the EMT 250 was developed, the marketing definition of it was to replace concert hall acoustics. So we went from how to reproduce an elegant concert hall to a pure effect world, and the whole world has followed the same path. Although only around 250 units were built, the EMT250 has made an immeasurable impact on record-making history. In the hands of studio legends like Alan Sides, George Massenberg, Bruce Swedeen, Daniel Lanois, and others. Universal Audio's EMT250 powered plug-in was modeled from Alan Sides' unit at Ocean Way Recording, then re-engineered as a plug-in by UA engineers working with EMT250 creator Dr. Barry Blesser from his original documentation. Endorsed by EMT in Germany, the EMT250 powered plug-in incorporates the very same algorithm found in the original units. In other words, it gives you the exact same sound for a fraction of its original $25,000 price. For a significant period of time, it actually was selling for higher than its retail value. It was considered part and parcel one of the most important pieces of rock and roll machinery to have in your inventory, to have this thing sitting there. The top surface of the EMT250 was meant to sit next to the sound engineer in such a way that he didn't have to look at it and he could still manipulate it. Unlike convolution reverbs or unlicensed emulations, only the EMT250 powered plug-in offers the authentic sound of the hardware. The documentation was really the Rosetta Stone to taking the hardware and turning it into a plug-in. You cannot emulate the EMT250 in anything but a dedicated emulation because of the randomizers. You can measure impulse responses all you want, you can't capture the essence of any of these algorithms. Sonically, if you compare the plug-in with the hardware, it's not just an emulation, it's really an exact match for what the algorithm was in the original hardware. Even though the bandwidth may be somewhat limited, it has a very wide bandwidth sound. It's a very open sounding, very impressive sounding reverb. I set the low end all the way down, top end all the way up. It has a very short, clear room sound. And at the time this came out, there was nothing that would do that. When you're just trying to get some short, clear ambience around a snare or an acoustic guitar, this device was completely unique, and it was the only thing you get that. Besides the coveted reverb program, the EMT250 provides the five additional effects. Delay, phase, chorus, echo, and space, also included in the original unit. Four click-stop levers provide the primary reverb parameters of delay time, pre-delay, and high and low-pass filtering. So another advantage with the EMT plug-in is that you can get as many instances as you want, which means you can mix up the chorus and the reverb and everything else. But on top of that, uh, the plug-in has a few features that the hardware didn't have. The mix control for blending the wet and the dry, the wet solo, but the most interestingly is the front rear switch, which allows you to take advantage of the quad outputs. As one of Universal Audio's award-winning UAD-powered plugins, the EMT250 runs on the Mac and Windows compatible U82 DSP accelerator card, available from Universal Audio dealers worldwide. This VST, audio units, and RTAS compatible plugin runs in a fully functioning demo mode on the U82 card for 14 days, during which it can be purchased from the UA online store. The EMT250 is in the class of a very, very good algorithm with a unique personality. And probably a good recording engineer wants a collection of good quality, unique sounds. The record making elite from the past 30 years are very familiar with this reverb. It's considered probably one of the best sounding reverbs ever made. 
you know, in its day, it sold for twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars. Which now we have the plug-in available. Anybody can get the sound of the EMT two hundred and fifty exactly as it was in the hardware. And it's nice to see something that has some value now be accessible to everybody. Celebrate the rebirth of a legend with Universal Audio's EMT two hundred and fifty powered plug-in. Thank you.